Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add breadcrumbs to your blogger website. Now this is the design of the breadcrumbs that we're gonna add. We have this home icon over here and then we have these labels and then we have the post title. Now in the previous video, I have shown you how to create this design using HTML and CSS. So if you want to learn that, you can watch the previous video. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Now in this video, we're gonna add this to our blogger website. So let's get started. Right here, I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website and uh, the theme that I'm using is called Contempolite, which comes by default with blogger. Now here we can see in our blog, we have these many posts over here and uh, let's see how it looks right now. So let's click on view blog. And this is how our website looks right now. We have all these posts over here. And if I open any of these posts, we have the post displayed over here. Now we need to display the breadcrumbs right above this title over here. Now this is our design and uh, we're gonna make a little bit of changes in this design to match with our theme, but most of it will be the same. Now to add it inside the post, we have to add it inside the theme code. So let's go to the blogger dashboard and let's click on theme. And let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. Now all the content inside the blog post is uh, inside and includable with an ID of post and a variable of post. So for that we have to search for it over here inside this theme code. So you can just press command F or control F and just search for this line of code. Less than B colon includable ID equals post and var equals post and just close it. And now if I press enter, here we can see the line of code. Now this is where the post starts. So here if I just add some code, so here let's add an H1 and let's type testing. And now if I save this and uh, if I go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now here we can see that testing is displayed over here before this heading. So we need to display the breadcrumbs over here. So let's remove this testing h1 from here and we need to add our code of this breadcrumbs design so let's go to the source code and i will leave the link of the source code in the description so let's copy everything from this line of code till the end right here and let's copy and paste all of this over here so just make some space and let's paste it over here now we also need to add the css so let's go back and uh, let's go to the style or css file and let's copy everything from this line of code because we don't need to add the code for the body. We'll just start from here till the end. And let's copy everything and let's paste it inside the theme code. So let's scroll up and let's go to the CSS. So here we can see all the CSS of the theme is displayed over here. Let's make some space and let's paste the CSS of the breadcrumbs. I'll just create a comment. And uh, let's type breadcrumbs. And let's paste the CSS over here. Now let's save this. And now let's go back to our post and uh, let's refresh this page. And now here we can see that the breadcrumbs design is displayed over here. Now I think for this theme we can just remove the box shadow and also remove the padding on the left and the right. So let's see how it looks. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, let's try removing the padding. So let's remove the padding to the left and the right. So let's set this 48 to 0. And let's also remove the box shadow. And we need to add some more padding to the bottom. So let's type padding bottom. And uh, let's try a padding bottom of 16 pixels. Or let's try 20 pixels. I think that looks all right. So let's make these changes. Let's go back to our CSS. And here for the breadcrumbs, let's just set the padding to 10 pixels and zero. And let's set the padding bottom to 20 pixels. And we'll just remove this box shadow from here. And now let's save this and uh, let's go back to our post. And let's refresh this page. And now we can see it looks all right. Now if you go back to the home page, 
here we can see for all these posts we have this uh, breadcrumbs displayed over here now we need to display these breadcrumbs only when we are on one of these posts so for that let's go back to our code and uh, let's go to the HTML so let's go to blog one and let's scroll down and let's find our HTML or you can also search for this line of code includable that we added so here we have the code now here we will add an if condition so for that you have to type less than b colon if and we need to add a condition so let's type cond equals and for the condition we need to type data colon blog dot page type and we need to see whether the page type is item so let's add it inside double quotes right now let's scroll down and close the if condition over here so for that you have to type less than forward slash b colon if right now let's save this and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now here we can see that the breadcrumbs is displayed over here and if you go to the home page here we don't have the breadcrumbs displayed so since we had added the if condition it will only be displayed on one of these posts now the next thing we need to do is we need to make it work we need to add the post title over here instead of this uh, text we need to add fifth post over here and here instead of this category 1 and category 2 we need to add the label so if you go back to the posts here we can see for the fifth post we have these labels photography and tech now to add these labels you can just go into the post and add the labels over here you can add commas to add multiple labels and uh, let's go back and here we can see for all these posts we have different labels and for the first post we don't have any labels so we need to take care of that as well right now let's go back to our post and uh, the first thing we will do is we will change this post title to the actual post title so let's go back to our code and uh, here instead of post title let's add the code to display the post title so I'll just delete all of this code from here and uh, here we need to type less than data colon post dot title and let's close the tag so this is how you display post title in your blogger website now here for the anchor tag we need to add the link of the post so if you just type href and add the link it will be just a static link now if you add the link of this fifth post over here then for all the posts it will have the same fifth post link so we need to have this as a dynamic link so whenever the user goes to the first post they should have the link of the first post over here and if they go to the last post then the link of the last post should be added over here so we need to change this href into an expression so here you can just type expr colon href equals now here we can add a variable so let's type data colon post dot url right now let's save this and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now here we can see that it says fifth post and we also have the link of the fifth post over here at the bottom you can see the link of the fifth post and if you go back to the home page and if I just open another post let's open the third post and here we can see that third post is displayed over here and we also have the link of the third post now the next thing we need to do is we need to display the labels instead of these categories so let's go back to our code and uh, here for the categories inside the li let's add an if condition so let's type less than b colon if c o n d for the condition now in the condition we need to check whether the post has a label so for that you have to type data colon post dot labels and let's close the if condition over here and we'll just remove one of these anchor tags from here now the next thing we need to do is we need to create a loop and we need to loop through all the labels that we have in this post so for that you have to type less than b colon loop and here we need to add values and let's set the values to data colon post dot labels and uh, we also need to have a variable so let's type var equals and here let's add label now we'll use this variable for displaying the label so let's close the loop over here so I'll just type less than forward slash b colon loop now here inside this anchor tag let's add the code to display the loop 
so for that you can just type less than data colon label dot name so this will give us the label name and for the link of the label let's create this as an expression just like we did for the post title so let's type expr colon href equals and let's set it to data colon label dot url now the next thing we need to do is if you don't have any labels inside a post we need to display something so here before this if condition ends let's create an else so let's type less than b colon else and here inside the else let's add some text i'll just create an anchor tag and let's set the href to hash and here i'll just type uncategorized and let's close the anchor tag over here now what this will do is it will display all the labels and if it doesn't have any label then it will just display uncategorized so let's save it and let's test it out let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and here we can see now it says tech for the label because if you go back to the post here if you go to the third post here we have this label tech and we also have the link of the tech label so if I click on tech we have all the posts with the tech label displayed over here and if you go to another post here we can see there are two labels so if you go back to our posts here we can see for the fifth post we have photography and tech so here we can see these two labels separated with a comma so we can also click on any of these labels and see all the posts related to that label so let's go back to the home page and let's scroll down and for the first post we don't have any labels so here we can see there are no labels over here so let's open this and now we can see it says uncategorized so the labels and the post titles are working all right we don't have any problems now the last thing we need to do is we need to add the link of the home page to this uh, icon so let's copy the link of our home page so this is the home page let's copy this link from here and let's go back to our code let's scroll up and here we can see this is the home icon so here for the href inside the anchor tag let's just paste the link of the home page and now let's save it and let's go back to our post and uh, let's open one of these posts and let's click on the home icon and uh, we are redirected to the home page so it is working all right so that's basically how you can add breadcrumbs to your blogger website now you can go ahead and change the design of all of this by changing the css and the html of our design and i have already shown you how to create all of this from scratch in my previous video so you can check that out as well and i will also leave the link of the source code in the description all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day Oh, 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 oh,